I've read up on a lot of posts about Dr. Dre's shit messing up. So the real reason is because of Monster. That's the real reason. Monster cannot make their money without them making their products pretty cheap. So that when they break, you could buy another two, three, six hundred dollar set so that they can make more money, more products, and get more money for Dr. Dre and their customers. Or not their customers, but their employees. So let's start off with these uh, beautiful studio headphones. <clears throat> not really beautiful. So if you've noticed these headphones, they have a cord that comes out and then there's a wire right there. I've used these almost every time and the wire when I put it in my pocket when I connect to my phone will bend up. Reason B is they're like well we'll fix that problem with not just having this cord here and bending everywhere. We'll just fix it with this one so that the solder point doesn't break because the solder point's right in this area. And they made a long piece of plastic to support that. That's cool. I like that. The only problem is is well hey you still got this piece that cuts off by that plastic right here and is bending everywhere and they don't have any support to like I don't know rubber grommets or whatever to slowly bend no it just and bends so my wire is fucked that's why I taped it okay moving on to the Dre Beat headphones see right here you can notice that this piece is already breaking standard for Beats Audio oh hey look this piece is breaking that's not good. What else? This piece is breaking. Standard for uh, Monster. Not Mr. Dre himself. At least I hope not Mr. Dre himself because I wouldn't want some rapper making money off of us when we're trying to work hard and get his shit. More pieces broke. Uh, look at the cuff. Now the cuff really says a lot. You got this piece right here. Then this other cuff piece which is coming off. That's just niggerish. Come on now. Like, who fucking creates headphones and then makes it to where they're going to break easily? Oh, wait, that's right. Monster. I, I almost forgot. Okay. These, look at this. Look at this. They're not supposed to do this. You put them in, right? You pick them up, and they just they come out. That's not right. What kind of headphones are these? That's right, Monster. I forgot. Okay. My last preview of this is when Monster made their little idea. Look how cheap the design is for these clips. And you'll notice that these clips easily broke off in here. Luckily I got these pair of ear earphones for 10 bucks because they're just crap. I'm sure Dr. Dre, if he wanted to, could go to another company and make something better. Katy Perry came out this new little uh, commercial where she got out of the semi put this box down with two of her fucking new records or whatnot, looked up and said, hey ladies, and winked at the two girls. Well, she also went with Monster, and they're over $200 fucking headphones. These are $300, and I'm glad, because look at the cup. I don't want to buy anything with a broken fucking here thing, and then uh, you get limited warranty on it, like one year, which is horseshit. Okay, look how they sound, too. That doesn't, no. Every day when I walk with these, I can hear these plastic things move. I don't like that at all, it pisses me off. Next is the earbuds. These are iBeats. I'm currently trying to fix these for my friend. So, one sounds good, the other one's low. So the right one, this no. The red stripe right here is the right one. The blue stripe is the left one. The right one works great, but the left one doesn't. It's really, really faint. In fact, even if I turn this up all the way on my phone, it's faint as well, but it's not that as faint as the blue one. Other thing you had to look at is this. If your cord's messed up, hella screwed, you might as well snip the wire and then switch it out and solder a new one because you're fucked, literally. And that means you won't be able to use this cool generic plastic piece because it's, well, fucked. So that's what I have to say. If you're gonna get yourself a pair of Dr. Dre Beats, think twice. <clears throat> they got them on display, go to Walmart. <clears throat> you know, say you wanna check these out first and feel, 
feel the padding as well. Don't forget that. Feel the padding. Then go to your local mall, pick up a brand new pair of 2013 Skull Crushers, and check those out. Check the padding. Check everything. Literally, because would you rather get one year limited warranty on these or lifetime warranty? Because I sure as hell don't like a one year limited warranty over a lifetime warranty. And I'm not going to pay $300 for another pair of headphones when I could pay only $110 for a pair of Skull Candies. So that's something to look at if you're going to try and go in the headphone industry and look around for your shit. Because Monster's just, it's just not right there. It really is not. You know, these, these sound great. This cord is screwing me up though. And the reason why these sound so good is because I have a bass booster application on my phone. I won't lie, these got some good drivers in them. They almost, they, well not almost, they barely, barely like 2% sound like Skull Candies. Skull Crushers, 100%. These are like 2%. These are like regular Skull Candy headphones that you buy from a generic store like Walgreens if you use the bass booster. Otherwise, their little design idea is just fucking stupid. And it sounds like a toy. Kind of like, okay, for $300, I like this baby toy because I could just give it to my son and he'll be like, oh my gosh, dad, thank you. And play with them and put it on his head. I've even seen over here, I've even seen a person in the studio put these on. And there was a crack from here to here. It's a big crack and it's not good. So, like I said, point moral of the story of this video is if you're going to get shit, look around all over the internet, YouTube, Google it, everything, because you never know what's going to happen like this piece this piece broke and I had to tape it up and it was moving pretty bad so yeah it's just it's just bad and look at the headband too like look at that you can even see that piece right there ooh it's not good looking and it's not much comfort it really isn't when I put these on every day when I go to school to get my diploma and work hard or go to my trade for computer repair out of nowhere take them off and my hair is no longer just it's a the fuck is that? It just fucks my hair up. So, skull crushers over these? Yes. Yes, definitely skull crushers because I don't. Dre beats now. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. It's like PS3 and Xbox. Dre beats would be the PS3, obviously. Skull crushers would be the Xbox. But uh, I guess we already know who won.